Welcome to Dance to Heal. I'm your host, Jenny C. Cohen. Join me as I share stories of how dance and movement can bring healing in a way that is safe and tailored to your life. I'm a cancer survivor, mother of two, and an award-winning performer who found that movement was vital to my recovery. I created Dance to Heal Wellness and also authored the best-selling book, Outside in Recovery, Dancing My Way Back to Myself After Breast Cancer. I will bring new techniques to help you on your dance journey and healing path. Are you ready to move? Dance to Heal starts now. Orit uses her extensive 25 plus years experience as a professional dancer and fitness educator to mentor teachers with a focus on creating classes that retain students while promoting fun and injecting inspiration. It is my great pleasure to introduce to you my good friend, my mentor, my friend. Did I say friend? My mentor. She's so inspirational. Orit. Hi. Hello. So happy to be here. (laughs) So we've already just spent about 30 minutes speaking and reconnecting. And so we're going to go right to some discussion points we really want you to be aware of. First of all, please share with our listening audience how dance makes you feel. Dance makes me feel awesome, um, especially when I have a bad day. It's just, it's just an amazing release for me. It's, it's therapy for me. And I've been using it ever since I was a child. Speaking of that, please tell us like, the role of dance in your life, you know, some of the audience, they've already heard our first interview and now it's a little while later. And I would just love for you to share your experience in your life through your family and your heritage, all the way through being a young adult to now. Absolutely. So dance is, was always part of my family. It's part of my culture. And in fact, dance is part of praying. So I am uh, Israeli, but of Yemeni heritage. So I am Jewish, but of Arabic descent. And in our prayer, we dance and specifically the men dance. Um, And women would create the dance because... uh, and create the song because we were always behind the scenes, raising the children. And the dance was always about family, love, kids, as well as the music. Um, so we did, I did it growing up. Uh, we did it at celebratory events, uh, specifically belly dance, um, but definitely um, Yemenite folk dancing during um, Yemenite um, celebrations. And When I was growing up, I did take Western dance, Western dance like uh, jazz, ballet, tap, you know, your typical ever since I was six up until high school and then decided to go to college and major in dance, received a BFA in dance and kinesiology. I then became a contemporary artist in New York City, Um, was never accepted and was never good enough, apparently, or never fit the part. And so I decided to supplement my dance living with fitness. And then I, I fused the two together, belly dance, where I do look the part <laughs> with fitness that does make money. And now I've been doing that ever since. Yes, the Sharky workout virtual studio. We're going to tell you more about that later. I just really love the fact that see folks, I'm just going to review. I've known Orit since way back when. Come take a journey with me back to, was it 2008 or 2009 where you were at Zabeth's event in Boston? Orit had already won every competition there was to win, east and west and mid-coast. Literally, you told me the story, right? Where people were like, oh no, Orit's competing, they would pull out. It was 2005, Jenny. Oh, stop it. It was 2005? Yeah. Why am I committed? Oh, maybe that was when I finally certified in Sharky in 2008 or nine. Probably, yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I was dropping off my Mary Kay basket and I saw this beautiful, wondrous, strong, effervescent dancer. Because you were in your, I didn't, you're like, I was tiny. Oops. <laughs> she was so energetically blossoming on that stage. You seemed and appeared to me to be six feet tall. And the Isis wings, y'all, need really wide, long arm span. And you made it look like you were just this 
in a positive way, Amazon, ready to just conquer the world. And I was like, I want to be like that. Then I dropped my basket off for the gift and ran away. <laughs> I still remember that is someone I want to meet one day. And I went, oh, it's Orit. Where is she teaching next? Where is she going to be? Yeah. Yeah. And so would you share with me what you've seen happening in your studio? Because here's the thing. I am not the only lifetime fan of Orit, folks. We have members, not teachers. Because eventually we all end up becoming teachers because now I'm a master instructor in the studio. However, we have students or clients, as it were, who have been with you for years. Even before I certified, they've been with you. Yeah, they have. They have. And, and they're in the virtual studio. Yeah. Wow. So, first of all, when I started Charkey, you know, I was a contemporary dancer. And so it was all about work, work, work. How hard can you do it? Get the technique. Yada, yada, yada. Um and that's where I started in New York City. And that's where people started to follow me. I guess, you know, it's, 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 they're New Yorkers. I guess they're, they have that state of mind. Yeah. Um, but I realized that over time it blossomed into something different. It wasn't about getting the technique right. Yeah. Whatever right is, who knows if it was even right. It was more about dancing from the heart and it's how you feel. Cause really look guys, you know, technique, who cares? We're not like, curing cancer here. It's just dance. There's no right or wrong way to do this. There's just is just a way. And what I'm noticing in the virtual studio, which by the way, we've got badass women in the studio who are, believe it or not, no, believe it, over 40 and half of our virtual instructors are over 50, by the way. Yeah. And me too. Me. <laughs> <laughs> and It's just been such a pleasure just to watch that transition and to watch these badass women exude their beauty. It's it's so beautiful. Like I remember when they went into the studio, they went in for one reason, right? To get a workout, but they stay for another reason, the community and because it's how it makes them feel. They are so goddamn gorgeous. It's amazing. Oh, you're giving me chills. It's yeah. true. It's true. It's true. It's so true. To move to music, which neuroscience is showing, combines all parts of your brain. So it takes you out of trauma response. To move to music and be in the present, because we're giving people choreography and you're following us, right? And you're having fun inside your own space, which for a lot of people, they feel safer at home now than being out. Yes. That is truly awakens this awareness of your own beauty or even giving permission to feel the beauty in you. You know, I think I just love that because we have people who are really new who love it and they're addicts like at every single class. And then we have people who have been with you since because now you're living in one state. She used to live at, on the West Coast it, even before that or we, you were in New York. And these are people who were with you since all three of these new locations. So we're talking about diehard uh, followers of this way of training and dancing and celebrating life for years now. Like they haven't let it go. They haven't outgrown it. It's actually allowed them to grow into themselves. Yeah, it has. But I, 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 I think why they stay with me, Jenny, if you don't mind me interjecting for a moment, please. it's, it's the system. It makes them feel successful. Let's talk about the system. What is the system? The system is like can make anybody freaking dance. It's all about how you break it down and build it up. Literally, you start by marching and then you just add the nuances and then you stop at the nuance you feel like you want to stop at. No, I don't want to add that another layer. It's okay. Stop at that nuance and you're still belly dancing. You're still dancing. And so it, 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 it gives them that permission and, and it makes them feel successful. Oh, I love that. It's true. And some people I know listening are going like, well, I, I'm, I can't walk like well without assistance, right? And we have that answer for you. We also teach it at a level where you can dance from a chair. So, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you don't oh. have an excuse. Like, <laughs> exactly. You don't. And, and- if you can move a body part, you can do one of our classes. That's what they're geared for, right? Absolutely. 
Absolutely. And you know what? Sharky seated is even more of a workout on the core. It actually is, y'all. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, so now how has your view on dance changed? Because we talked about it was something that you saw growing up and then yeah. you went through this finding yourself time in New York at a time it was very competitive. And those of you who are listening to the podcast and you can't see us physically, we're because we're over 50, right? So you think back, back over those times, the epitome of the professional dancer is not what we look like now. I mean, now it's all holds bar, all bodies, all shapes, all ages, all gender identifying is accepted. Back then there was only really one formula. And now you shifted into this thing now where you, because we know each other when my kids were small. Now my kids are in college. We know each other when Ori did not have kids and was about to, it was three years before you moved out to the West Coast. And now you have two beautiful children. My kids are in college. How has that shifted from there all the way through to now? And I guess what I want to know is what has shifted and what has stayed the same for you? Hmm. What has shifted is it's not about getting it right. Okay. That's for me personally. What else has shifted is as a spectator, I love watching people who do not have dance background or dance training because they really like, there's this, they exude this sort of playfulness and this joy and this lightheartedness. They're not all about, oh, did I get that right? It's just, it's just joy, pure joy. Yeah. So um, what I feel like has stayed the same, um, I mean, the art, I mean, it, I mean, it, it has evolved sl- slightly with, but, but the traditional is still there. Yeah, I don't. I didn't think it fully changed. Um, and yeah, yeah, I. Yeah, I mean, and for me personally, when I'm dancing, I just feel, I feel blessed. Although my body has changed, I mean, it, it created life, so that's amazing. I'm not hard on myself anymore, and. And in fact, I'm dancing more than no, more now than I ever did. And I feel like I'm stronger now than I ever was because I'm pregnant. I, I, I was pregnant. It was like literally a weight while I was dancing. So I felt like it strengthened my back, my entire core. So I don't know. I just, I feel like I'm not as hard on myself now. Oh, I love that. I, I love that. The way of the dancing now that we both do it's allowed us to grow into ourselves, yeah. right? And I really like that because, like you said, when we were younger and also dance a few years back was the striving to be an unreasonable perfection that doesn't even really exist. I mean, my son is in a ballet major at the university here, and it's been something he's battled with a lot. It's actually brought him to quite some levels of depression because you can't ever really achieve it. And then there is the status quo, right, of what this dance is supposed to look like and who's allowed to really do it professionally. So what I love about the virtual studio is that it is welcoming to everyone. We have professional dancers who take class with us. And we have professional hobbyists that take class with us. And so, right, I just really think it's it's really important to remember you, no matter whether or not you sign up with us, which we're about to give you the offer right now, you also want to find yourself a community, whether it's online or even in person, right, where the people have the same type of idea where everyone should be allowed to dance. They make it so everyone is successful and we have fun. And that's the key, right? That is. Right? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Inclusive, so inclusive. We've got to be inclusive. And yeah. the, the days of, of it not being are over. Sorry for those of you who want that. I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> We're here to help ease the pain. It really is much more fun with everyone invited to the party. Of course. Absolutely. Please share how we can sign up if we're not a part of your virtual studio. Okay. Um, We are offering an amazing deal. It's like a no-brainer. It's like, why not sign up? So the first week, it's only five bucks. What? 
just like a cup of Starbucks. And then you get like, you can get 30 classes if you want. Yeah. So first week is five bucks. Um, you go to sharkey.com slash online. And then after that week, whatever you decide to sign up with, whether it's the live pass, the vault pass, the replay pass, it's all yours. Yeah. <laughs> I personally would recommend the live pass because when I teach you all, after the class is over, I turn off the recording and we do dance parties afterwards. So there is a beauty to that. And also when you're in a live classes, you can ask the teachers questions afterwards. You can chit chat or we will hang out with you. She's a bit of a celebrity in her circle. So to get to take classes with her and kind of hang out. In her dance studio spaces, which is right behind her in the screen, if you're watching the video, you can hang out in that space. <laughs> Why would you not grab that opportunity? That's my my shtick on that. Um, and I just want to go over the Sharkey is spelled very many different ways because, of course, it's a translation from the Arabic language. It's S H A R Q U I. Any last words on someone who would be like, well, I don't want to belly dance or eat. What would you, how could we help them consider taking a class with us? You don't know what you don't know. So go take a class. That's one. And two, if you can march in place, you can belly dance and we'll show you how. And on that note, we're going to say goodbye to Orit. I'll have her back, I promise. Because I think we really want her to tell some more stories about being Yemenite, being Jewish, being in the Arabic world has juxtaposed to being in the U.S. Because I get you. I bet you it's some juicy tea there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming, Orit. We'll see you, everyone, you. soon. Bye. You. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for listening to Dance to Heal with Jenny C. Cohen. Come back next time to hear stories of recovery through movement and learn more ways that you can move your body. To work with me and continue your journey, visit OutsideInRecovery.com. Are you ready to move?